Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Octopath Traveler. And joining me, Star Princess HLC. Mamma mia, this was a spicy meatball. Except it really wasn't because it was Tressa. Yeah, not too much spicy going on there, we hope. And JK Lantern. If, Tre if Tressa's dad is Mario, who does that make her mom does does that make Yowza her cousin hmm. huh Yowza was Luigi's child right yes yep. <laughs> yeah there we go they're cousins then <laughs> I apparently wow, this did place not enter is this with Primrose. Huh. Well, this place looks like hell. Little bit. I'm not sure how much of the backstory of this place the game's gonna tell you. I know some of it's revealed in, like, an art book. It well, is... I guess we'll... It is Everhold. We'll find out, I guess. Yeah. You know, that flag almost kind of looks like it's trying to have a sexy girl drawn on it, waving and or dancing. Given that this is, um, Simeon, it could very much be, like, someone hung up by their arms or it could be a dancing girl because he he yeah we'll we'll get there when we get there <laughs> if we saw the other ones yeah <laughs> oh god you're even talking like him that yep well considering stages were her life yeah that was a nice bird in the background Answer commenting nice things on a bird? Many birds. Like, like this is the first bird effect we've had in the game, I think. Who are you and what have you done with my boyfriend? Tis I, never fear, Simon Belmont is here to destroy evil monsters and all you old. Now look, Castlevania birds are the bane of existence. Shit. Like Medusa heads. And Fleeman. Like fruitcake. Fleeman aren't that bad once you know how to deal with them. Anyway. Because the okay. world is a stage. <laughs> and Simeon is a freaking dramatic twit and he is the one who built the theater he the phantom of the opera out of an old castle yes keep your hand at the level of your eyes so Again, I'm not sure if the game is going to tell you this. E Everhold was once its own little kingdom, township, whatever you want to think of it as. And, um... Hey. There were, um... Once again, Therion is the closest thing Primrose has to a conscience, which is immensely messed up. Yep. So, like, this was once, like, its own kingdom. And, like, the king the king of this kingdom had two sons by different mothers, if I'm remembering right. And, um, they, they got into a war, these two brothers, to see who would take over the throne. One of them made a deal with some people for power, 
in order to win that war. He absolutely won that war, and because he wanted to rule as a puppet master, he totally, like, ran the kingdom into the ground and made it into, like, a giant theater. That was more than a century ago. That was Simeon. And he legit, he legit, like, gutted the castle and made it into a theater because he believes that, like, the entire world stage. He is a narcissistic, sadistic bastard. I have no idea when we're actually going to need to get into combat here. We're about to find out. Oh god, it's Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> Again? Oh, my hero, my beloved. <laughs> oh, Maria. will die, and it will suck. Once in every show, there comes a song like this. Of course. Opening song written by me, a worthless piece of shit who you all paid to see. <laughs> oh, he's going to do the thing, isn't he? This play's gonna be about Primrose, isn't it? We're, we're pulling a Hamlet. Yep, here we go. Again, he is an evil, evil bastard. You know, we've talked about garlic, vanilla, and salt. I'm getting a lot of salt right now out of this. That must be the and it's mouth all thing. going in Primrose's wounds. You can't have the salt from my tears. Mm -hmm. Oh, time to get the mouse bacon popcorn. Delicious. Are they just yelling at each other over this crowd? I mean, he's effective. He is the noble lord of this town. He can yell wherever he damn Yeah, but I mean, this is like one of those things. He's a noble lord, and he's got this woman here threatening him. I have a feeling that they're just all wearing, like, <laughs> opera masks and not even paying attention. Oh god, Lord Simeon's being dramatic again. Don't say anything or he'll start executing us. Again. Yep. yep. He executed my cousin last week because he coughed in the middle of one of his favorite songs. He killed the guy last week for sneezing at the climax. Simeon would absolutely do that and not even blink. Oh. Also, he threw a guy out the window for throwing off his groove. Sorry! <laughs> I can He do that and not even blink. Simeon's a very now. divisive villain in the franchise. People, people argue about, like, whether he's a good, like, a satisfying villain for Primrose to fight, or if he's kind of overly cartoonishly evil and overly dramatic and if he comes out of kind of nowhere we actually had a woman give birth on stage for this show we spared no expense for the production is it Simeon's wouldn't be shocked. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, good. We're actually going to go into flashbacks for this. <laughs> Thank the heavens. Oh, hey, Primrose actually has a mom. Her name's Dahlia. <laughs> <laughs> Quite right. Yes. She's gonna be a bombshell and, and the ball I... and, and the battlefield. I'm uh, Fire Emblem characters come to mind with this bit. Mm. Hello, See, if I, if I knew more about Fire Emblem. <laughs> yes. Can I help you? Really? Blackjack. Get over here. <laughs> you are literally blocking my screen. Thank you. I want to see the show. <laughs> you gotta see the show. It's a dynamo. You gotta see the show. It's rock and roll. Bet you weren't expecting Emerson, Lake, and Palmer references tonight. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. We're so glad you could attend. Come inside, come inside. God, that song's awesome. It could very well be Simeon's theme song at this point, I think. What? So, yes, he he has ruined her life and is now her head for shits and giggles. Yeah. What? I don't know if it's coming across on Discord, but... I can occasionally hear him meowing. The, the yep. cat is uh, going ham over here. What? Maybe, maybe he wants to be in the show. You don't want to be in this show. I say that and you go curl up. Okay, fair enough. Even now, she cannot resist teasing Tressa. Yep. He, he spent 20 some odd years crafting this play. Yep. Because it amused him. Yep. Gr granted, killing killing Jeffrey Azelhart was business. It was it was something he was directed to do by his superior singular. But all all of this, this is just a bonus for him. This is fun times. Two things I need to do here. One. I mean, dude, you could just get some less destructive hobbies. Two, change up party members. Because now we can get the final three travel banters in the party. 
Burning. And I'm pretty sure we're gearing up for combat. Yeah, we're. I'm pretty sure we need to, one way or the other. We'll probably yep. have to watch this entire play first, but you know. Luckily, we won't. Luckily, the party members we get in are good ones. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think she still has War Master on. Yeah, she does. <laughs> oh, oh my. She has so many weapons. Oh yep. my god. <laughs> she is War Master. This is what happens when you live in the woods? <laughs> okay, and everybody else should be just about set up. Because this is basically the last party, only with Hanit instead of Tressa. Yep. And just make sure, yep. Alberic, Hanit, and Alfin would be the last three travel banters. So we'll probably get one more cutscene out of the way, then it will be time to call it a video. But now we're set up for the end of the chapter. Beat that guy up, why not? I could. <laughs> yep, we went we went right into the uh right into the dungeon. Question. Why is there Nar from a narrative standpoint from a narrative standpoint? Why is there a dungeon here? Yeah, no, we cannot because go down that he, ladder. That's because okay. because Simeon felt like it. Look, he's got to enforce the no outside food or drinks rule somehow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's literally just the next area. Hunting. More boring enemies. I know. These are literally the same ones from the last chapter, too. Yep, it's more cultists. Because he's... He's one of the two heads These aren't of the even cult. cultists. These are the executives. Yeah, they're part of the obsidians. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, great. We're fighting tax collectors. I will cut you down! We're in Woodruff now? I am ready. But can we slam one into a garbage can repeatedly? We can certainly try. Here we go. Yeah, don't really need to burn any magic on these guys. Letting the hunt begin it. Especially considering how much your haunted has. This looks like it's going to be a very long and confusing mansion dungeon. Yeah, just a bit. I don't have Therian, so... Twenty thousand leaves in a chest. That works! Let us fight with honor! If only we, we didn't go. have, like, a billion leaves in a trust fund somewhere. Yeah. If only we actually got to use them. I 
think we break the game if we could. I think I already broke the like game. This? That's what happens when you give me How three cates and bewildering grace pops for times a hundred. <laughs> uh. I will cut you down. I am ready. Naito, bring your shade. Let in the hunt begin. Yeah. Thou didst fight with courage. It is about time to call the video. I'm just going to do a quick Week. once over of as much that goes back into the other area. Okay, fair enough. This is what happens when you stick your theater in a castle. Yeah. They forgot to seal off the dungeon, didn't they? Probably. Naito, bring your shade. No. Coming, if thou. Oh, that's cute. Old Barrett just does so much damage. Yep. He is Can't the chalk. Can't go chalk. down that one either, okay. They basically sealed off the entire bottom half of this place. That That's where he keeps the souls of the dam. That, that seems about right, really. He pees on them for his own amusement. <laughs> I have turned him into Keska, apparently. He's probably the best equivalent of Kafka in this game. Yeah. <laughs> Although not nearly as awesome. No. I mean, it's hard to top Kafka. Ke yeah, Kafka is really a very is. high bar. I am ready. Shine forth. <laughs> I am ready. The show is over. But the show must go on. The show must go on. Uh, I should listen to Pink Floyd more. Because they were my favorite band back in the day. I can only listen to so much Pink Floyd. Let us fight with honor. I know that's no. blasphemy, but... I, I mean, I totally get it. Like, like I had, I had that problem when um, Rush Radio took over the tracks of Sirius XM. Because, like, I love Rush. Rush is awesome. But, like, nothing but Rush for a straight month. It was like, okay, have love of this. Yeah, there's some of those bands like Rush or Dream Theater. Oh, things like that. It's like, you can only take, or in my case, I can no. only take so much of them. Yeah. With each battle, I grow stronger. They tend to give me a headache if I listen to too much of just them for too long. You're like... 
Like, again, I love Rush, but it's like, a after about the 50th Rush song, it's like, yep, it's definitely Rush, we get it, okay. It Can we mix it up a little, please? I'm not <laughs> high enough for this. Seriously, that's, that's one of the Attack ways the Rush got really popular. They yeah. were really good music for listening to while high. Yep. The battle is truly joy. Out of my way! I'm pretty sure Future Alma even made that joke. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. May the sacred shine forth. All right. Naito, bring your shade. No. Out of my way! With each battle, I grow stronger. Okay, so we've got many, many openings into the next area. Mm -hmm. I think I counted three of them. Woo! So, when we return... We've, we've explored this entire little area as well as I think I can. I think it's time to go into area number two. So until then, take care, everyone. Later. Bye-bye.